On Thursday in Capitol Hill, the fragile accord that seemed to be forming slowly between Democrats and Republicans blew apart. It began in the morning with Majority Leader Harry Reid on the floor of the Senate announcing that the deal that Democrats and Republicans seemed to be forming late Wednesday night had blown up not so much over numbers, but rather over controversial policy riders that Republicans are insisting be in a bill to fund the government through the rest of the year. Of particular note are a series of riders that have to do with family planning centers that provide abortions and over how the EPA does its business. It's not realistic to shut down the government on a debate dealing with abortion. It's not realistic. It's not fair to the American people. Shortly after Mr. Reid spoke, John Boehner, the majority leader in the House, had his own news conference where he said the two sides weren't even close on the number. Uh, there is no agreement on a number. In fact, uh, uh, I think we were closer to a number last night than we are this morning. Uh, there are a number of issues that are on the table, and any attempt to try to narrow this down to one or two just would not be accurate. And shortly after that, by midday, there was a raucous floor fight uh, in the House between Steny Hoyer from the Democrats. House will come to order. Now, House will come to the order. The Tea Party on your side, as so often is the case. And Eric Cantor, the majority leader for the Republicans. I, I would say, let, let us look at, at why we are where we are to begin with. Who are arguing over yet another short-term spending provision that the Republicans offered to fund the government for one week, which would have $12 billion in cuts and fund the military through the rest of the year in the event of a government shutdown. I tell my government, we have little doubt on our side of the aisle why we're where we are today. And so it seems what's happened the last 24 hours is this fight between Democrats and Republicans has shifted away from an argument about money and federal spending and more into ideology and the role of government in American life.